Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing the recipe of delicious, quite unique dish which is chicken 65 biryani. This is one of my favorite biryanis. Without further ado, let's get started. I have taken 1 kg of quite medium sized chicken pieces. Added 1 half teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder. Add in salt as needed. Squeeze in the juice of half a lemon. Add in 2 tablespoon of corn flour. This corn flour gives crispiness to the chicken 65. In goes 1 egg. Add in 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. I have added frozen ginger garlic paste and I have shared this recipe already in our channel. Chop in few curry leaves. Mix nicely until everything combines well and marinate it for 1 hour. After marinating the chicken pieces, add in 1 tablespoon of rice flour. We have to add the rice flour just before frying the chicken pieces. Soak in 300 grams of long rice basmati rice. This is the cup I use for measuring the rice. I am going to boil the rice as well as fry the chicken pieces. Heat sunflower oil in a kadai and add in the chicken pieces. I first tried this biryani in my office canteen ever since I became big fan of this biryani. Chicken 65 is the star of the dish so first we will be making chicken 65 and make biryani out of it. The chicken pieces are getting cooked well and it's crispy and super delicious. Chicken 65 is ready and I'll be frying in the next batch. Meanwhile, water is getting boiled to cook the rice. Add in cinnamon, cloves and bay leaf to add extra flavor to the rice. Add in salt as needed. Add in 1 teaspoon of sunflower oil so that the rice doesn't stick to each other. Cook the rice to 70% and remove it. I am going to dump this chicken 65 biryani and the rice will get cooked at that time. The basmati rice is cooked to 70%. The long grain basmati rice is best for this biryani. I am going to prepare a masala for this biryani. Biryani will be cooked in this pot. Heat 1 tablespoon of ghee and 1 tablespoon of sunflower oil. Add in cashew nuts as needed. Once the cashew nuts are cooked, add in 1 teaspoon of raisin. Once they are fried, remove it from the pot. Add in 1 sliced onion. Fry these onions to light brown color. Actually, I am making fried onions now. Look at it friends, the crispy chicken fries are ready now. The onions are cooked perfectly and I am removing it from the pot. I am adding in 1 tablespoon of chicken fried oil. This oil has chicken flavor in it. Add in 3 cloves, 1 black cardamom, 2 green cardamom, 2 bay leaves and 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Sort it until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste goes off. Now add in 2 sliced onion. In goes salt as needed. Add in 2 green chilies and 1 sliced tomato. Sorted until everything combines well. Add in 1 1⁄2 teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli powder. 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Sort it until the raw smell of the masala powders goes off. Now add in 250 ml of beaten curd. Well, the curd shouldn't be much sour. I have the chicken marinated masalas left. I have added quarter cup of water into the bowl and added into the biryani masala. Sort it and you'll get fine gravy like this. Add in quarter teaspoon of sugar to balance the flavor. 
Once the gravy is cooked well, add in the chicken 65. I have added only half of the fried chicken pieces here. I will be using the remaining half of the chicken 65 while cooking the biryani in them. Look at it friends, so half of the chicken pieces are in gravy and the remaining half we will be using it later. Add in 1 teaspoon of ghee for extra flavor and add in coriander leaf. Switch off the flame and I am layering the chicken 65 masala and the cooked basmati rice. First comes the chicken 65 masala and then the rice. Add in the fried onions, cashew nuts and raisins. Add in the fried crispy chicken 65 pieces. Add in ghee as needed. Now cover the chicken pieces with the remaining rice. Add in coriander leaf, fried onions, raisins and cashew nuts. I have added yellow food color in quarter cup of water. Add in the yellow food color water and some ghee. Cover it and cook it in very low flame for 15 to 20 minutes. Look at it friends, the aromatic chicken 65 biryani is ready to be served now. Mix the biryani gently while serving. The delicious aromatic chicken 65 biryani is ready to be served now. I served it with onion and carrot raita. Chicken 65 biryani is quite different from the normal one. Do try this chicken 65 biryani and share me the feedback. I'll see you next video. Until then, bye bye and take care.